Hi guys! So every year in our home, we buy caterpillars online at insectlore.com and we raise our caterpillars and watch them turn into butterflies. It takes about two to two and a half weeks, sometimes three weeks, but the kids are always super excited to do this project. So we wanted to share this journey with you guys. So there are a few kits you can buy online. They come with everything you need in them to take care of your caterpillars and watch them become butterflies. There is some helpful information here too. You definitely need to read. You're going to want to keep your caterpillars out of direct sunlight. You don't want to open the cups at all. You want to keep them inside these containers in a safe, um, comfortable place. You don't want to handle them with your hands. As they form their chrysalides, you're not going to want to move the cup around at all. Um, they're very delicate at this time and you don't want to hurt them or cause any problems for them. You're going to see them shed their exoskeletons with, before they do that when they crawl up to the top of the cup. They're going to do that a couple times as they grow. Once their chrysalides harden, you're going to want to move the tops of the containers carefully to the little stands that are included in your kit. Then you're going to place those stands inside the butterfly habitat and set that aside in a safe place out of direct sunlight until your caterpillars emerge as butterflies. After your butterflies emerge, their wings are going to be a little bit wet and you're going to want them to dry before you open the habitat and release them. Um, they're also going to release like a red liquid. My kids thought it was blood at first, but it's it's not blood. It's meconium, so it's basically butterfly poop. Um, so don't worry about that if you see that. You're going to want to feed your butterflies um, nectar or fruit. It, um, the kit comes with this little sponge that you can put uh, sugar water or nectar on and your butterflies can sip it from the sponge there. You don't want to just put liquid into the habitat. That wouldn't be good. And then when it's time to release your butterflies, um, just like after a few days of taking care of them, you're actually going to get some pretty cute pictures because they like to land on your hands or your face and um, they hang around for a little bit before they actually fly away. So we usually get some pretty cute pictures too. The kids usually love that. So here are our caterpillars and you see how teeny tiny they are right now but they are actually going to grow quite a bit before they turn into butterflies. Um, it's amazing watching these little tiny caterpillars grow so much in such a short amount of time. It's a lot of fun to watch. So we hope you enjoy this journey with us. Okay, so this is day three of our caterpillar's growth and you can already see how much bigger they are than they were just two days ago. They're still pretty small, but they've actually, they've grown a lot. Today is day five of our caterpillar journey and they have grown so much from the size that they were two days ago. You can see that they are making some silk in their little cups 
they are digging and eating through the food that came in the little containers. They've got spines along their back. It has now been a full week since we've gotten our caterpillars and could you believe how big they are now? They are so big. Just when you think they can't get any bigger, they just keep growing. They are starting to crawl up towards the top of the cup so that they can hang upside down in a little J shape and create their chrysalides. Once they do that and it hardens, we can move them to their butterfly house. So this is getting pretty exciting. We can't wait to put them in their little butterfly habitat and watch them turn into butterflies. Okay, this is day 10 of our caterpillar to butterfly journey. And you can see our little guys are starting to make their chrysalides on the lids of these cups. They are hanging upside down in a J formation. One of these guys already built his chrysalis, but he's not quite hanging on the top of the cup. That happens sometimes and hopefully he'll be okay. Don't, don't move the cup, Chase. 